So hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video and today, today is a good day. It is a good day indeed because I finally decided to test the new and improved miter that's been buffed with update 20 and oh man, my baby got good. <laughs> yes. So what did they change with update 20? Well, first of all, they increased the chance of dismemberment on kills, which just makes the weapon even more awesome, and it also makes it pretty good for desecrating necros, because you have more body parts to desecrate. They've increased the speed of projectiles by quite a bit, this is really good because you don't have to mod for projectile speed anymore to make the blades fly at a decent speed, good stuff. They cut the charge time of the weapon in half, which makes the weapon far stronger, because it means you can fire faster, and it overall makes the weapon feel a lot better. And finally, the miter can now crit. You have 5% crit chance on a quick shot and a 10% crit chance on a fully charged shot. And this elevates the damage of the weapon quite a bit, even if you don't want to build it for crit. Now, I'm still using the same 4 Forma setup, but I do want to change something, which I will talk about as we go through the mod. So, I'm still using Serration, obviously, for damage, then I have Split Chamber for Multi-Shot, but I'm using Hammer Shot right now, and that's because I'm going for a Crit Slash build, and Hammer Shot gives you higher Crit Multiplier and also more status chance. However, I want to swap this out for Fanged Fuselage once I get it, which is gonna add one more dash where Hammer Shot is right now. Now, I used to have Fine Fuselage, two of them even, I think, but I guess I just gave it away or sold it, so I need to wait for Baragatir to bring it back. Then I'm using Point Strike and Vital Sense for Crit Chance and Crit Multiplier, Val Acceleration, which makes the weapon fire so incredibly fast and makes the charge shots actually feel good rather than something you have to wait for. You can charge it incredibly fast with Val Acceleration now. I'm still using fast hands because I just want the reload time to be as short as possible for those moments where I completely forget about the charge shot and I start firing blade after blade while laughing maniacally. And I'm also still using a ribbon, though I've rolled it two more times and ended up with Mitre Alexi Skycron. And I'm really sorry for anyone in my clan that was online when I rolled this because I got really excited and spammed the hell out of clan chat. It gives me almost 4 meters of punch through, 165% bonus slash damage, almost 200% extra crit chance. This is just monstrous. And also some weapon recoil, which doesn't matter because the miter doesn't have any recoil whatsoever. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some people in the comments saying, it is a ribbon, me no like it, but honestly, I don't care. It's my baby. I can do what I want. The miter for me was always a ton of fun to use. It just felt right. It wasn't very strong, but it just felt awesome. It was a lot of fun to use. And they just made it better in every way. It's more fun and it's much stronger. The over-the-top dismemberment that you get when you kill enemies is always fun to watch. And it's awesome that you don't have to charge it for as long to do a fully charged shot because they now do an absolute track ton of damage and they leave behind a very, very nasty slash proc as well. And the projectile speed change is awesome as well because the projectiles before were really slow, so you really had to compensate for enemy movement. As I said in the beginning, I am extremely happy right now because I can easily take the miter into all three infested sorties and probably corpus sorties as well. And even though the damage is much lower versus heavily armed, armored units, the slash procs will kill them relatively fast because slash procs ignore armor completely. So I can even take my baby into some grenier sorties, not all of them, but some, and that's good enough for me. Though while they did buff it with update 20, they also broke it at the same time and they've yet to fix it because the miter right now cannot hit weak spots, so you can't kill the juggernaut, well you can, but you know, you will be doing 20 damage with each shot and you can't kill bosses like Lefantis because you just do zero damage to his weak spots. And while that is annoying, it's gonna get fixed eventually. So yeah, as I've said, it was a good day today and luckily there are many good days to come because I'll be using this a hell of a lot more from now on. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching as always and I will see you next time. Bye bye.